uh, it's a devotional uh, uh, Vaishnava uh, Gaudiya Chaitanya uh, uh, traditions view, but it's uh, it's it's it's, all, it's authentic, and uh, everybody's view is somebody's view. So it's not uh, that's not it's in itself a, a problem. Um, and I felt the same way about uh, about all of his uh, publications. I, I use his uh, 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 Bhagavad Gita as it is in courses. Uh, I use to use them alongside other translations and other positions so that the students get an idea of the, of the range. But many students uh, uh, prefer his translations uh, because they like the devotional uh, aspect of it. Say so, this this is the real this is the real Gita. You know, this is the one I can respond to. And, and of course, I felt the same way about uh, about the, uh, the 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 Srimad Bhagavatam. That uh, his uh, his interpretation, his, I mean, his commentaries and uh, purports uh, were uh, were uh, absolutely authentic. They were part of a tradition, and there, there, I, in a sense, had a, had a better understanding because I had studied the commentaries on the Bhagavad Purana in, in, in the course of doing my dissertation. Uh, so I, I, had, I had especially studied Sridhar Swaman's commentary, and so I recognized that many of the things that uh, uh, that uh, Prabhupada was was saying in his commentary were, uh, you know, uh, following from uh, from that, or or following from uh, teachings of people uh, like uh, Jiva Goswami and and others who had uh, had uh, also interpreted these texts. So. Uh, uh, you know, I saw I saw this as again a, a very authentic uh, uh, statement of uh, of the, the, the teaching and uh, and a, a a very authentic translation of uh, of the text.